Libras, welcome to your August 18th full moon reading. Uh, my name is Dudhamkar, and you can reach me at dudhamkar23 at gmail.com um, for personal reading. I accept PayPal. Uh, I also, if you want to help make these videos better, then you can donate through uh, Patreon. Um, so, without further ado, let's get to your reading. My call on the goddess Venus, goddess of abundance Lakshmi, I call upon goddesses of all kinds who love love and beauty, wonderful fresh berries, mint, the sweet things associated with Libras, balance, harmony, justice. Call upon karma, karmic wheel of justice, the spirits associated with aligned with balance, harmony. Sweet roses, a mixture of spice, of sweet, sweet berries and fruits, grains, cereals, wonderful cereals, all of the associations with you. The velvet lizard on a window pane of the Libra. Okay. This is you. This is what crosses you. This is what's on your mind. This is in your short term past. Long term past, plans and hopes for the future. Your environment, your uh, present circumstances, environmental circumstances, inner feelings, and others' effect on you, your effect on others. Finally, a uh, card, Ace of Clubs. So, what is our secret meaning for this reading? Double reversed. Liberation. Congratulations. You are liberated. At what cost? Fifteen. The Devil's Face resembles Joseph Stalin, who ruled the USSR for thirty years. His powerful body symbolizes the intensity of his power. Tattoos represent his power's crim criminal nature, and bat wings symbolize its extent. The martial star above him is the symbol of his victories. The horn shows the devilish cunning with which he holds his winnings. The two eyes on his chest are the vigilance of the secret police. The devil's chains trap a man and a woman deprived of civil rights. In the reverse, it is release from bondage, throwing off shackles, divorce, recognition of one's needs by another person, overcoming severe handicaps, the beginning of spiritual understanding. So, congratulations. Um, that is your subconscious meaning. You are currently in the position of the reversed Eight of Swords. I think I hear an echo here. 
The Eight of Swords represents crisis, conflict, domination, imprisonment, turmoil, bad news, criticism, sickness, and calumny. However, in its reversed meanings, and how you are now, is that your treachery was in the past. Uh, you're through difficulty and hard work, depression and disquiet, accident, you find yourself now. Uh, you are living out the results of past actions which were not as favorable um, towards you. Now what crosses you now? Sun, Moon, Rising, Libra. Seven of Cups crosses you now. This man has a lot of options in all of these cups. He has reptiles and eagles, magic, stars, and uh, reeds of flowers. He has the head of John the Baptist, an orthodox cathedral, and a lot of jewels. So those are a lot of options. You face many options now. And in the cups, Fantasy, imagination, daydreams, foolish whims, wishful thinking, illusionary success, if it were upright. However, it is not. You always read a sideways card from left to right. Seven of Cups. Reversed is desire and determination, strong willpower, a goal nearly attained, an intelligent choice. Congratulations, you passed through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. All right. And uh, I would say that you are overcoming. Overcoming all odds. Alright, what is in your headspace? It's the reversed of the Six of Clubs. Conquest, triumph, good news, advancement, expectation, desires realized as a result of efforts. However, you are concerned about an indefinite delay, fear, apprehension, disloyalty. Superficial benefit, inconclusive gain. <clears throat> what I see with this is that uh, you've put in many long hours for a lot of projects. You have always had a lot of things on the burner, many, many objects, many, many uh, passions, objects, uh, objectives, <clears throat> and goals. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, however, um, now you see yourself um, almost at the end of your trials and tribulations, uh, yet you have seen so many of your goals go by the wayside that you're having a hard time starting again. This indicates that you should start again. You should turn over that new leaf and take that chance. This is more favorable. It will be a favorable outcome. So, um, in your short-term past, we have death, which is dramatic change. You have had a dramatic change in your life. You have become a whole new person. You have gone through an incredible transformation. Uh, people before would not recognize you now. Um, but you're standing in your truth. A huge rotting head on a battlefield resembles the head in Pushkin's story Rusland and Las Milla. It looks left towards the past, other symbols of death, skull, sword, uh, fallen warrior, scythe, are scattered about. The raven will feast on the remains, but this is a natural thing, and it is upright. It means transformation, clearing away of the old to make way for the new. The unexpected change, the loss, the alteration, the abrupt change of the old self, though not necessarily physical death. 
The end of a familiar situation or a friendship. Financial loss. A new era. Illness. Possibly death. Um, you have been shedding your skin. You have been shedding the layers. You have been diving deep. You have been uh, taking on uh, all uh, obstacles in your path, you have been brave, you have been courageous this entire time, and it has not been easy. You have reassimilated everything, but now you are, find yourself in a place of liberation through the reversed Eight of Swords, and you find yourself with a lot of choices thanks to the Seven of Cups. Your destiny has been made clear. You are progressing despite your um, difficulty taking up arms one more time to fight the good fight. Now, in your distant past, you had the reversed of the hanged man. This is much traveling. This is the reverse of stagnation. The hanged man, a youth in traditional Slavic costume, hangs calmly from the apple tree, also known as the tree of life, Kabbalic symbolism. At the top of the tree sits the firebird, um, who, in fairy tales, comes at night to eat the apples. What a beautiful image that is, the firebird. And it makes me think of the opera as well. But the apple tree is the tree of knowledge. And we're using the Celtic cross spread. And the Celtic cross spread is also related to the Kabbalah and uh, the tree of knowledge and wisdom. So this is a microcosm of that um, yearning. So the hanged man reversed is lack of sacrifice, unwillingness to make necessary effort, a failure to give of oneself, egotism, false prophecy, useless sacrifice. So what I get is that For a while, things were good. Things were looking okay. You were happy. You were content. But really, you were sacrificing and no one knew it. You were giving to others without receiving anything in return. You are through with that. You went through a major change. And now you feel liberated in your new place in the world. You are no longer hanging upside down. You are now have your feet upon the ground. And the firebird is also known as the phoenix. So it is rising, rising from the ashes now. So your hopes and dreams and wishes for the future are the Knight of Cups is what you desire. The Knight of Cups is an amazing emotional, positive, nurturing male force. And knights always mean messengers or uh, a, another person. Um, an impulse. Knight of Swords is bravery, skill, capacity, strength and dash, heroic action, op opposition and war, impetuous and fearless rush into the unknown a master in the art of action and warfare. So this could be you stepping into your truth, being brave, standing in the light, uh, saying, here I am, taking up action, um, and just doing it, standing out. Um, and uh, Or it could be that you are hoping to find uh, in your life someone who has this bravery skill, this amazing capacity, this strength, dash, heroic action, um, who is a, a fearless master of um, natural um, balance of argument, not, not necessarily warfare, mediation, arbitration, uh, bringing people together, uh, someone who is a networker, a natural networker. This could be someone you were looking for. 
and the winds say so. So, uh, now, oh, where'd you look at that? Okay. The emperor, the emperor is here in your bottom card position. It is your present position that you find yourself in, your attitude within the circumstances. It puts you in proper perspective. The emperor is a place of masculinity, of leadership. The Emperor's throne is carved with the image of St. George. Onion domes characteristic of Russia are in the background. This is also known as the hot seat. The worldly power, the confidence, wealth, stability, authority, indomitable spirit. And the war making tendencies, the father, brother, husband, male influence, domination of intelligence, and reason over emotion and passion, patriarchal figure. However, what I would interpret it to mean in this space is also, if you don't know who I'm talking about already, I would say that this person is you. You are have reached a part point where you are becoming an authority, a leader in your own field. You're calling the shots. You're going to work for yourself. You're starting that business you've been planning. You're stepping into your own truth. You're not waiting around or having to wait around for others to do what they need to do. You are finally in a space where you can move forward. And that's what your present is. And in your environment, you have the Four of Clubs. And the Four of Clubs is a wonderful domestic harmony rainbow card which is so beautiful and it symbolizes innocent love, just genuine sweetness and romance, but also of the highest reputation, of the highest order, um, just a, a soulmate connection. So four of clubs, romance, society, harmony, newly acquired prosperity, tranquility, the fruits of labor and rest after strife. So whatever you're doing by stepping into that leadership role, by coming out about your transformation, your own personal death, you are fomenting a new home. You will be receiving a new home. You will be coming upon people who feel like home, feel like coming home to your soul tribe. You will uh, open up doors to prosperity that you never imagined before. Now, in your um, inner emotions right now, it indicates that you don't feel like this is the case, like this four of clubs could possibly be real. This is somebody, this is just your inner emotions. It is not only your, it's not so much your hopes and wishes, but it's also your fears and anxieties. This is your trepidation. And what I'm seeing now is that you don't know if you're ready. You don't know if you're ready to step into your truth, to do this on your own, to uh, say announce <laughs> to, to the vultures that you're right here and you're open to criticism, you're open to more persecution for being different, whatever it is, you're not sure of it. But the Eight of Coins, in specific, reversed, says a lack of ambition, vanity, conceit, disillusionment, usury, hypocrisy, flattery, intrigue. So, it's not that you don't want to succeed. It's, it's that you've had to overcome all of these vanities, these... Um, people just random flatteries even even people's own hypocrisy um, you have to to go through uh, a great deal of discernment and self-knowledge and growth and all of those things to come out of 
a period of disillusionment. It's not real though. Those are your feelings and fears, but those aren't real. And your final, final combination of events is Ace of Clubs. Ace of Clubs. Creation, beginning, invention. Start of an undertaking. Fortune, enterprise, gain, inheritance. The birth of a child. Beginning of a meaningful experience. An adventure. Escapade. Yay! So th this is a wonderful beginning of an adventure for you. This is, um, many times somebody's own business will be like the birth of a child. Uh, someone coming up with a new business plan. Oftentimes a new relationship is, is like uh, a new venture, a, a new adventure. You see the world in a completely different way when you're with someone who resonates so highly and, and tunes into you so well and in a new way. So what I see here is that the Ace of Clubs, that is a, a, a real um, taking up action kind of card. Now is the time, is what I'm being told. Um, forget any kind of doubts about continued bereavement or loss of money or loss of social um, relationships, friendships, um, a lack of any kind that you should not be visualizing um, or affirming that at all because in reality you have a lot of options. You are no longer in a stagnant place like you were and you're moving full steam ahead into accepting your gifts and realizing that while you may not have been lazy in the past, you may have just gone the course of least resistance and um, said, well, I don't know if I'm good enough or nobody really needs that anyway or, you know, talk yourself out of it time and time again. But the fact is that not only does the world need that, but you also need to complete that circuit of abundance, of reciprocation, of love, of nobility and generosity, of creator's grace. You need to pass on a message of freedom to your people who you have in your life and gratitude um, for that freedom. Uh, the freedom to express from the heart, the freedom to use the voice, the throat chakra, to sing and be free when you speak to, in, in love and domesticity, contentment, contentment and harmony, which is what I see for you. I see the beginning of an entirely new era. You may have been very concerned living a very tumultuous, painful life, but this is a time of healing, of balance. Everything will be coming into your balance. So I hope this affirms for you on this Aquarius full moon energy. Namaste, Sat Nam, God bless. It's been my pleasure to read for you. If you want a personal reading, or if there's some way I can help, my email address is dadamkar23 at gmail.com. I will also be answering any sort of comments to the videos, and if you want to donate to the videos, you can do so through patreon.com. Uh, you can also book a private reading. I take paper. Thank you so much. God bless. Uh, and I'll see you soon with more videos. Take care.